Hi folks, my name is Joe Patterson. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm at work and a lot of, a lot of stirrings from the Holy Spirit messages and understandings. <clears throat> I had a YouTube channel before and I deleted it. and it got up to, I don't know, almost 550 subscribers or something, but I was only getting 35, 45 views, 50 views, and I'm not into inactive uh, numbers. Um, so I deleted it. I had probably over 700 videos on there and I'm uh, remaking things. So precious uh, shorter time than, than when I first began. Fewer the words and more the meaning. It can't mean that. This is a revelation the Lord gave me. Uh, it, it's nothing huge folks and anything you can't get yourself. If you seek the Lord and ask God, he'll teach you. That's what I did. It can't mean that. That's the, the phrase that many people say, uh, Joe, it just can't mean that. When we talk about things that God teaches that not, we're not supposed to kill, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Um, it's not okay to kill. It's not okay to kill for, the, for the, any, anybody. If you are a follower of Christ Jesus, it ain't okay to kill. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, and you can just pick your scriptures up and turn to Matthew chapter 5. Start there. Just start reading what Jesus taught. He said, blessed uh, are the meek, right? He said, when you're treated evil, that you're not to return evil for evil, but rather blessing. He said, you've actually heard it said of old, an eye for an eye. Because that was the law. But we're not under the law, right? And that's what I'm always getting accused of, saying we're under the law. Well, I'm only, only that until you want to kill people. Now you're under the law. It is an eye for eye. It is not. Jesus said, not so. But I tell you. See, God says vengeance is his and he'll repay. So bless those, Jesus said, that curse you. Don't return evil for evil, but rather blessing. Pay back evil to no man and speak evil of no man. Thus saith the Lord. These are true, true sayings. Jesus said, unless you hate your father, mother, brother, sister, Sons, daughters, wives, land, houses, life, for my sake. You're not worthy of me, for the cost of being a disciple is great. Jesus said, scarce are the righteous saved. What then will become of the sinner ungodly? If it's hard for the righteous to be saved. Can't mean that, right? It can't mean hate. So people, what do men do? They study it out. They go to the Greek. They go to the Hebrew. They look for some kind of way. There's got to be a way around this. He can't mean hate. And so they study it out. Well, he didn't mean hate, he meant love less. Okay, so what about the killing? Thou shalt not kill. Well, he didn't mean really kill. I mean, God had armies, right? And after all, Jesus told him to get two swords, right? Oh, I forget to mention, he never used them. And the time that Peter did use it, what happened? Jesus rebuked him, told him, don't do that. Put the ear back on the man, right? Isn't that the truth? Think about it. Why don't you give God a try? Why don't you stop believing what you've been taught by men and start trying to believe what Jesus taught? See, God said when a man's ways please the Lord, he'll cause even his enemies to be at peace with him. By the way, Jesus is the king of hearts and minds. See, he can rule over any heart, even the most wicked. He can turn people away from bringing harm to your life. See, these are the truths, friends. And you say, well, it can't, it just can't mean that, Joe. You're step come on, you're saying, you're saying if we if it means that, that we wouldn't have police and we wouldn't have military, we wouldn't have, we'd be vulnerable. Anybody. No, 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 see, I'm not saying that. You're saying that. What I'm telling you is what Jesus taught. He was the teacher. Call no one on earth. Teacher, Jesus said, you have one teacher, it is the Christ. <clears throat> so the Christ teaches, don't kill. Don't return evil for evil, but rather blessing. Love those who hate you. Love your enemies, right? Bring no harm to no man. This is what was told the centurion. Read it in chapter, uh, in uh, John. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I believe it's in John, where they're talking to the centurion. He said, what do I do? I'm a centurion soldier, right? He says, don't collect more taxes than you ought and bring harm to no man. Well, it kind of covers it, doesn't it? But see, people don't like this because it's anti-normal. You'll suffer for this kind of understanding. 
you will suffer. You will be persecuted. People will hate you. They will call you like they do me. They'll call you a cult. They'll say you're a false teacher. You're a false preacher. Don't listen to him. He believes weird things. <laughs> the one who believes weird things are people who do not believe what God says to be true. They believe weird things. Jesus said, what men hold in high esteem is detestable to God. Can't mean that, right? It can't mean what it reads. It can't mean it. That's your defense. It can't mean that. I don't know, Joe. How many times I hear? Let me tell you, this is a response I've heard many times in my life. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. It just, I, it can't mean that. It just can't mean that. How could everybody get it wrong, Joe? How could you be the only, you're the only one that talks like this that I know. That's what they'll say, that we know. And they're right. Around my town, this is it. And they'll say it just, it just can't. They'll go with the majority. God said his kingdom is not a democracy. It's a king. Kingdom. Jesus is king. He is the head. The head. He does all the thinking, right? He commands and we obey. That's a kingdom. That's kingship. We're not democracy. We don't vote. We don't decide who we want to be over us. These are truths, friends. Jesus said not to swear, not to oath, but people do it every day because it can't mean that. We'll go join the school board, take an oath, and swear in. You go join the police force and take an oath and swear in. You go and join a doctor and take an oath and swear in. You go to uh, military, take an oath and swear in. Do exactly what God said not to do. You'll uphold the laws and traditions of men and forsake the commandments of God because it can't mean that. It can't mean it. It can't mean that. So most people don't want to read these scriptures. They bore with them quickly. If they run into any kind of trouble like me, they go talk to their preacher. Who have you been listening to? Who is this guy? Come on, didn't he know that God had armies? Well, look at King David and look at all the armies of God. The armies of God, for heaven's sake. As if, as if I'm unaware of it, right? I thought we were under the new covenant. I thought Jesus come to fulfill the old covenant. And then now we're under a new covenant. So then now we're under the teaching of Jesus. By the way, don't forget they killed Jesus for his teachings. They killed him because they hated what he was saying. They hated it. They already had a system set up and they loved it. They loved lording over the people. They loved the finest seats and, and being waved and, and talked to in the marketplaces and being popular among the people. And they loved politics and, and, and the policies of their, of their own selves and makings. You think they wanted to give all that up, humble themselves, and become servants to someone who rode in on a donkey? Because it can't mean that. It can't be that. It can't be a guy coming in on a donkey. You're supposed to come in with glory. You're supposed to come in and hand the reins over to us for kill the Romans and get rid of this worldly policy and let the, the children of God should reign on the earth. I just said they can't, can't mean this. It can't mean that, right? What happened when Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part of me? And what did they say? It can't mean that. And so they rolled. They left and Jesus turned. So many left that Jesus turned to his disciples. Will you leave too? What about you? See, the scripture says, they said, who can, who can, who can accept this? This is a hard saying. Who can, it can't mean that. And stick around and find nothing out. Right? I know people right now, one of the churches in this little town I live in that doesn't even believe in hell, they don't believe there'll be a hell. Wait, this can't mean that. It can't mean that. It can't. God, how could a loving God burn people forever and ever and torment and, not, and they weep and gnashing of teeth? I think it was just a big warning. I don't think he's really going to do it. Preacher. This is a preacher. Man learned. Man of the cloth. Right? Methodist church in town. I'll just tell you, that's, that's what he, he just doesn't believe it. He believes that, Joe, he said, wouldn't it be something, me and you in heaven? And, and uh, you know, here we are in heaven and we walk over to the edge of heaven and look down and see that, that hell is empty. 
because he can't mean that. This is powerful understanding. It's a powerful, powerful tool that the devil uses to keep people from honoring God. So I ask you, are you someone who says it can't mean that? It just can't mean that. It can't mean we can't kill. We got to have armies. It can't mean that we got to trust in God alone. We, we have to have military. We have to have weapons of war. We, we have to, it just can't mean that. He can't really mean love your enemy. Not really. He can't possibly, come on, you know, the enemy's been done, done some bad stuff. Skinned my kid alive and, and screaming the kid was and oh, I love my kid and, and I, I, I'm going to love my enemies. How am I going to love my enemies? Can't mean that. It just can't mean that. How are we going to love? This guy was a child molester, right? It don't matter if he repents or not. He's on the registered sex offenders list. We just forever hate him. He just got to know there's certain sins that just aren't going to be forgiven. I've had people who claim to love Christ say this very thing. It just can't. It just can't mean that. It just some people and these, a lot of women believe this. They just they're just they believe there's some sins that just can't be forgiven, and that's certainly one of them. Sex offense on children, molestation and stuff. None of these things are new, by the way. So many things that we could rehearse, you and I could go over the scripture. On and on and on we go. And in the end, you may be someone who finds yourself saying it. It just, it just can't mean that. And so here's what you do. See, so you got it open, you're reading it. it. It just can't mean that. And you go on. You go on about your day. You go meet your friends, you have lunch, go to your school activities, watch your children play sports. And you just stay away from people who believe what God says is true. Every single word of it. Because it does mean that. It means exactly that. When God says hate, he means hate. He says love, he means love. He says obey, he means obey. See, you're not supposed to be gay or lesbian, no matter how much people do good on this earth and love and all that stuff. If they are an abomination to God, doing the things that God says are abomination to him and they continue to do them, they will suffer the consequences that God says will come upon them. You can't say it can't mean that. Anyway, till next time, Brother Joe.